everyone today sorry i've forgotten to unmute my mic there <laughs> hello everyone how is everyone today thank you all so much for joining me live over on the chloe's creative cards facebook page for a look at the brand new celebrate the good times collection which we are super super excited about so thank you everyone for joining me um i've got my ipad here so i can see all of your comments and um yeah hope you are all well hope you are excited for today's video i know we're a little bit earlier than normal at 12 o'clock um but it's just a few things going on this afternoon so 12 o'clock today it was um but i will post this video on youtube later as well and of course it'll go on to facebook so if you can't watch live or you can't watch the full live you'll be able to catch up later no problem at all so i hope that everyone is well i can see already that lots and lots of you are joining me which is fabulous hello to nikki hello to tracy and um, hello to Haley. hello to christine thank you everyone for joining me so so far so good everything's working i've done things a little bit different this time did you see how we had the schedule live up on facebook and everything so yes very very exciting i'm just pleased that it all worked because sometimes technology just doesn't does it <laughs> um so today we are going to be having a little sneak peek at the brand new celebrate the good times collection this is the one that i know that lots and lots of you have been waiting for it's got to be a fab collection for creating cards for celebrations such as weddings engagements anniversaries and um, it's got to be awesome for all of those but there's also some really lovely elements for men's cards as well but quite like quirky and a bit more funky so yeah really really excited hello to glynis as well i can see that glynis is watching and um, thank you everyone so I'm just going to give a few minutes for everyone to kind of find us and join us um, and then I will have a little run through of the kit. I've got a cup of tea, well this is coffee actually, a cup of coffee already so I hope you've all grabbed a cuppa ready for today's live. So thank you everyone for joining me, hello to Wendy, Amanda, oh my word I can see in the comments that so so many of you have been looking forward to this collection launching. And honestly, I know that you've maybe seen a little sneak peek in some of the craft magazines because Glynis did some awesome cards um, with these. But honestly, we know that you've been waiting for them, but it's just been getting everything coordinated and getting everything in together. But we are super excited that we have got everything ready and it will be launching on the website, chloescreativecards.co.uk at 9am tomorrow morning. So, of course, we've got the I Need It All and we've also got all of the individuals as well. So, should we dive on in and have a, a little look at this collection? Now, before we do, I want to talk to you a little bit about this collection and where the inspiration came from because it was a, a very, very random place. Okay, so let me grab in this finished card sample that Becca has done, which is absolutely gorgeous, okay? So this one has been done using the Be A Bottle background stamp and I'm going to show you this in more detail in a moment but I just want to tell you the story behind the collection and where this all started. So lots of you always ask about men's cards, what would you do for men's cards, do we have a range and it's always been something that I haven't felt is that in keeping with what we've always done because it's always been glitter, it's always been sparkle and really pretty but I just knew that there was something, we needed something like really modern for men's cards. So during the first lockdown in 2020, one of our random little projects was we actually made a table out of beer bottle tops. Um, so it was like a cable reel, collected up lots and lots of bottle tops um, and we did like a table and grouted it and put resin over the top. And oh my word, it looked amazing. And when we finished it, I was like, that could be a stamp. That looks so good and it would be so much fun to colour in. So that's where this range kind of got me started. So we started off with the bottle caps and then it kind of just expanded and grew. So then we ended up with um, pints of beer, beer bottles, and then it was like, oh my word, we need something for celebrations. Like, wouldn't a really nice large champagne bottle stamp be nice? So it kind of just expanded out from there. 
but it was something that I knew that you would all love crafting with. You can still use all of your glossy accents, the fluffy stuff, all of your pens, your embossing powder, and it's going to look absolutely awesome. But it's still going to look modern and, and very in keeping with what we do. It's not kind of like your traditional drab colours. We've really put a modern twist on it which it just looks absolutely fabulous. And when you see all of the finished samples that I've got behind me, like honestly, there are so, so many. And as well, I've actually done a project that'll be in Box Kit 10, which will be coming out in March using these stamps and dies. Um, so if you are loving these, there's gonna be some ideas um, within there too. Oh, Nikki really wants to see the table with the bottle caps. I will see if I've got a photo of it. But it did, it looks awesome. It looks so, so good. And obviously during the lockdown, we were looking for like little crafty projects we could do. And that was one of them. But honestly, it looked fab. I'm going to find, I'll find a photo and I'll pop it in the Stamps by Chloe group later so that you can all have a look. Right then. So we're going to get started. I'm going to dive on in. So as always, the I Need It All bundle will come in this incredible pink box okay which is one of the lovely chloe's creative cards boxes still had to be raspberry pink even though we're doing this fabulous time to celebrate collection but you can see all of the goodies that you are going to get in here okay then so i'm going to turn this around and i'm going to pop the overhead camera on because i think that's the easiest way to show you so let me pop that in okay and then you can see what you are getting in this fabulous box of goodies. So to start with, we've popped you two little rolls of our gorgeous Lux ribbon in. So this is in the I Need It All collection. So you're gonna get Glittering Gold and Night Sky, which are two beautiful colors. You get eight meters on each reel. And these are fabulous for embellishing, for adding bows. But even with the more masculine cards, you can just tie a little knot, pop that on the card. These look really lovely. They add a little bit of bling and sparkle without being kind of too in your face really really lovely so you're going to get two ribbons in the i need it all bundle first off we're going to get the gorgeous streamer background stamp do you know what i'm going to take this out of the plastic because i feel like the plastic's reflecting and you can't see it as well so the streamer background is fabulous. You've got like this lovely firework design. So for any celebrations, for New Year, anything like that, it's going to look absolutely incredible. So you've got like the little firework design, you've got Let's Party, and then you've also got like a little um, border that you can build up using the streamers at the top. So you can use this as like a repeating border and line it up across the page. So that is the streamer background. And I'm gonna show you a finished sample with this one as well. So this is the one, Becca's done all of the cards on the packaging for these ones. And she's just done the most amazing job. But you can see how we've used that lovely streamer background across the top. She's used the, like the firework type one in the middle along with the brand new sentiment builder. And she's added loads of sparklicious glitter on there, which looks fabulous. But again, for any celebration, like a congratulations, anything at all, this stamp is gonna be really useful. And it also makes such beautiful backgrounds on your cards as well. If you did like a vellum wrap around the card and embossed it in white, it's gonna look so pretty and so elegant. So that one is the streamer background. I'm gonna stick with the celebration theme for now. So I'm gonna show you the time to celebrate. So this is the champagne bottle stamp and die. And if I open this one up, let me get in. This is a monster of a stamp, this one. It's huge. Really, really lovely. So you've got your DL stamp plate with your big champagne bottle on there, which is fabulous. You've then got the champagne spray, and this looks like incredible. If you stamp and emboss it, get some little jewels on there, get some sparklicious glitter on there, it looks amazing. You've then got your pop sentiment, a little star, time for champagne the cork and the little star as well. So they're awesome for creating your backgrounds too. The size of this actual champagne bottle is 5.9 by 15.5 centimetres. So it's a really lovely large image. And you can see how fabulous that then looks with all of your dyes as well. So you get those all to mix and match together and they are incredible. So that is your time to celebrate stamp and die set. And I'm gonna grab a card in to show you that one. So it's this one here. 
So you can see, oh, the board's just falling off. There was a bow in the top corner. There we go. So we've got the lovely champagne bottle. We've got the champagne glasses as well that are coming up. So we've, we've sized it all within scale. But if you wanted to just create a really simple, like congratulations card, you could just do a DL card front, pop that bottle on the DL card, and it's going to look fabulous. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a real kind of showstopper. And it's going to be one of those that you're going to be able to create a really easy focal point on your projects. So that one is time to celebrate. Next up, we've got the gorgeous champagne glasses. So you've got the two glasses, you've got congratulations, you've got two you both, go you, which I love. I think that's such a lovely sentiment to send to someone because it's just so encouraging. And then you've got the little bubbles, you've got the stars, and you've got the, the kind of light spray coming out the top of the, um, the champagne too. Of course, if you wanted to turn these into Prosecco glasses, you could do, you could be popping a little bit of pink sparklicious glitter in there to make it pink champagne or pink Prosecco. But just for celebrations, for birthdays, for anything at all, these are going to be absolutely awesome. So this one is the champagne glasses. And if I bring this in, this would be amazing for engagements because that's, again, that's quite a difficult occasion to make a card for. Um, for maybe it's good luck in your new home, be a really lovely one or just for a congratulations card as well really really pretty again by using that sparklish glitter in there it really blings them up and you can see how because we've got the different texture in that glitter it's going to look like you've got little bubbles in the glass which looks fab and then you've got the little spray coming out the top and the little stars just embellishing around the corner too now some of you i'm sure will have spotted some new sentiments on here as well which are fab so we've got the brand new, this one is the Celebrate Sentiment Builder Stamp and Die Set, which is a fab again. So if you've got any of our previous sentiment builders, you'll know you get like your background and then your detailed one. And we have really taken the detailing to the next level on these dies. Like they are so, so fine and so, so elegant. They are going to look absolutely gorgeous on your projects. So we've got the Celebrate and we've also got Cheers. So you've got something for kind of your more celebratory occasions and then you've got the Cheers, which would be brilliant with the champagne glasses or you could be using that with the beer bottle and the beer glass that we've got coming up. And then you also get the stamp set with this one. So you've got your Celebrate stamp that's gonna fit perfectly in the middle of this frame here. And you've also got the Cheers one that's gonna fit perfectly in the middle too. So then you've got on your on your anniversary, can't wait to, so you could have can't wait to celebrate, it's your birthday, well done, on your birthday, time to, and then you can put celebrate, um, congratulations, say cheers, let's cheers, and um, then we've got eat cake, and, which I love that sentiment, and that's perfect for so many different things, eat cake and celebrate. Um, to you and on your wedding day. So we've got lots and lots of different sentiments in here that are going to be fabulous for using on all of your different projects. We've done a slightly different font on this one as well, but it works so, so well with this full collection. It looks really, really pretty. So that is your Celebrate Sentiment Builder, and that is, of course, a stamp and die set. Okay. Next up, going to show you the the beer cap background okay this stamp like if if you maybe don't make many men's cards and you were like i just want to go for one thing from this collection it has got to be this stamp it is a fabulous it it's so much fun to color in as well so you've got all of the different bottle caps on here you could even make some into like um because some of the tonics that you can mix gin with have very lovely bottle, bottle caps on top of them. So you could do it with a little bit of a theme of some of those as well. Um, but you've got retro on here, you've got light beer, craft beer, ice cold drink. So you can really mix and match this one up. It looks fab if you colour it in and then maybe just highlight a couple with a little bit of clear varnish or glossy accents, it just adds that extra dimension. Of course, if you want to be cutting one out and popping it on foam pads, you can do as well. But this, for your DL cards, I'm gonna grab a card in from the back, give me two seconds. This is just the one that I quickly did at home the other weekend. Look at that, I even put a blooming fingerprint in the background. <laughs> um, but this one here is absolutely brilliant. The um, 
you've got the background that you've stamped and embossed you then colour it all in and you can layer this up, do it in lots of different ways. You've got the beautiful bottle caps here um, that you can then be colouring, pop your glossy accents over the top. It's really, really pretty. So you can really go with um, like a, a bright and colourful background or you can take this down and make it a lot plainer and more subtle if you want to as well. But just for a DL card front, it looks absolutely fabulous and you can see how great that looks. I can see Kelly's just said about the, the pink box. The box, it's not optional at all, the box is what we send it out in and um, so we don't charge for the box, it is literally what we send your order out in. Everything fits perfectly and it just makes sure that everything gets to you in one piece. Um, so the boxes, I know lots of people have been saving them to keep the flowers in or what I do actually is I keep each of my collections in them and then I just stack them up in my cupboard um, and I put a label on the front then I know everything that's in my box is going to mix and match perfectly together. So this one is your beer bottle background stamp. So I'm going to pop that, uh, not sorry, it's the beer cap background stamp. Getting all confused. <laughs> so I'll pop that to one side. I'm going to pop that one back into the bag. Okay, um, Nikki, we haven't got glossy accents on the website. We've got the Cosmic Shimmer one, which is fab. That's what I've been using. Um, so we've got that on the website and we've also got fluffy stuff, which trust me, once I've shown you how to use the fluffy stuff, you are going to want to add that into your basket as well. Okay then, so next up, we have got the Birthday Beer Stamp. Okay, and this is fabulous. So in here, you've got your beer bottle and your beer glass. They're both sized in proportion, so they're going to look nice if you use them both on a card or if you just want to use the beer glass or the beer bottle on a card, you can use either or. But what we've done with this one that's really fun is you've got the little die cut to cut out the, the beer cap that we've got on the stamp layer. You've got the die cut to cut out the stars and you've also got a die cut to cut out the candle. So you can put the candle in the top of the beer, which it's just something a little bit quirky, something a little bit different. You've also got two sentiments just to the very side here. So you've got happy birthday and you've got cheers. Those have been designed and sized perfectly to fit in the middle of this little banner in the center of the bottle. And then obviously you've got your dies that are going to coordinate to die cut those out. So these, honestly, they look fabulous. When you see these done, you are going to love them. So I'm going to grab the card in to show you this one. And pop that back in there. Okay. So let me grab the card in. You are going to love this one. So this has got fluffy stuff on the head of the beer here. <laughs> you can see how fab it looks. Um, so the fluffy stuff, it just adds a little bit of texture and gives it like a, um, like a, a, a foamy type effect to it. So um, this one's got glossy accents on the bottle and on the glass as well. So you can see how it's got that lovely shiny finish. And we've also used some of the papers in the background here and the sentiments too. So it just works so, so well together. Of course, the Decagon, guy, Deca, Decagon dies as well in the background look awesome. So you can see how it's all mixing and matching perfectly together. So that's your birthday beer stamp and die set. Next up, we have got the Beer Bottle Border, which is another really pretty stamp. So you've got your, your dies to put out your beer bottles and also to cut out the border. So you've got your beer bottles here, which look fantastic, all stamped and coloured in. They look incredible because you can do them in all different colours. And then you've got this lovely border, which is just stars. And even just creating a card, stamping and embossing that border and then glittering it with your sparklicious glitters. It looks absolutely fabulous, just for like a congratulations card, anything like that, it's gonna look amazing. But when you die cut that beer border out with the die, honestly, it looks fab. So I'm gonna pop that to one side, that's gonna go over there, and I'm gonna grab this one in, because I wanted to show you this card, and um, this is one of Glynis's, because you can extend the beer border and do a border as long as you like. So you can see how fab that then looks by using the cheers across the middle, the on your birthday and that lovely star border as well. You can see how well this full collection coordinates together. It's just something a little bit different, a little bit quirky, but it just all works so, so well together. 
So, of course, we love patterned papers here as well. So within the patterned papers and um, within the I Need It All collection, you are going to get our new Masculine Mates Makes Paper Pad collection. And this is a double sided um, 8x8 paper pad, printed in the UK as well. And I have to say, it smells incredible. Anyone who knows about paper pads will know the smell of freshly printed paper is an amazing thing. Um, you've got 48 double sided sheets in here. 12 designs, four sheets of each. We've given you four sheets because you might want to use two of one side and two of the other. Does that make sense? Um, with them being double sided and it's all 160 GSM as well. Really pretty. So if I take you through some of the designs, we've got the beautiful bubbles in here, that you've then got the navy background. You've got lovely stars and wooden planks. You've got checks and like more wooden textured backgrounds. You've got dots and distressed backgrounds, stripes. This is really cool, that's using the, the beer caps. So you can see how we've coloured that one all in. Really, really lovely. And then we've got that in white as well. We've got the lovely beer bottle borders. So it all coordinates with all of your stamps and dies that are already in this collection. But equally, if you just wanted a really nice masculine paper pad, this is absolutely perfect because what you can do is you could be creating some really pretty paper piece backgrounds and then maybe it's using the sentiment builder over the top okay and then we've got the lovely beer caps on blue and red as well so the color theme within there is kind of like your reds your blues your teals your like yellow golden colors really really pretty so that's your masculine makes pad but you also get in the I Need It All bundle and you also get another paper pad as well. So this is the Celebrate Textures foiled paper pad. You get 48 sheets, 12 designs, four of each. So it's two in gold and two in silver. Let me just grab my scissors so that I can open this one up to show you. Okay. So I'm just gonna open this one up. The side, there we go. So you've got bubbles in here, you've got the lovely kind of crackle, obsessed with this crackle, love it. Uh, we've got stars, we've got textures, loads and loads of beautiful different patterns. I absolutely, this is the one, the beer cap, and I just love it. I just think it looks fab. Um, so we've got that in gold and we've also got all those patterns in silver as well. And these are foiled just on a white paper. Again, it's a really nice high quality white paper. So if you want to go in with your inks and tint these, you can do. Literally just take your distress inks over the top and the foiling is going to resist. So you can see how gorgeous that is. So within the I Need It All collection, you've got your Masculine Makes paper pad, Celebrate Textures. You've then got your beer bottle border, your birthday beer, your beer cap background, champagne glasses, time to celebrate, the streamer background, and the Celebrate Sentiment Builder, along with your two rolls of ribbon as well. So the ribbon, they're a nice little extra because you can be using them to embellish. You can be adding bows on your projects with these as well. So that's everything that you are going to get in the I Need It All bundle. I'm going to pop a little graphic in just to show you the designs of the papers again because we've got a few, few different ones here. So you've got 48 double-sided sheets in your printed one, which includes 12 designs, four sheets of each but you might want to use like a it, it, like two of one side and two of the other side does that make sense um so that's the what that's why, why we've done it like that and then we've also got the foiled paper pad as well which i'll show you in a moment but this graphic shows you really nicely the different colors that you've got in that printed paper pad it's just fabulous okay so i'm going to pop the foiled one in now which again, that gives you an idea of the, the textures and the, the different designs that you've got in here. Really, really pretty. So you've got like the stars, you've got the bubbles, you've got so, so much. It's a really lovely um, collection, this one. And I think if you've been looking for something for kind of men's cards and for celebrations, this is gonna be the perfect collection for you. So I'm not gonna go through all the prices individually, they will all be on the website tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. That's like, um, I think we're in GMT at the moment, aren't we? So it'll be like UK time. Um, and I'm going to pop in the little graphic to show you the I Need It All bundle. So you get everything that I've just shown you. So you're getting the two paper pads. 
you get in the time to celebrate the champagne glasses the celebrate sentiment builder you get in the uh, beer bottle border the birthday beer the beer cap background the streamer stamp and two rolls of ribbon for 104.99 so that's saving you 20 percent against buying them individually okay so i'm going to pop just some finished samples in to show you too and um, just give you a little idea just while i go and grab some more finished card samples to show you because there are so so many i think we'll maybe start with the the beer bottles to show you that one first and um, but it's honestly it's such a lovely collection and i think it's something that you are going to absolutely love crafting along with um, and i can't believe this all the idea for this all came from a table who knew? Who knew? So I'm going to grab some finished card samples in. I'm going to pop um the I'll pop it on the overhead camera so that you can see see what we've got going on here. Okay, so I'm going to switch that back in now, and we're going to pop these pop these in for you. So you can see on this one how Barbara's mixed and matched this, and she has actually used the lovely scallop star background. She's used that cheer sentiment and she's used all of the gorgeous oil papers as well. So that's that one. We're going to pop that one to one side. We've then got the lovely um, beer bottle border as well, which is fabulous. Really, really pretty. Perfect for using for lots of different occasions and um, just mixing and matching. So we've got the beer cap background here that's been embossed. We've then got that lovely beer bottle border across the middle here. And we've also got the Celebrate Sentiment Builder in the centre here too. And we've got the lovely uh, birthday beer as well. This one here, again, using the fabulous star um, nesting dies that we brought out. Was it earlier? It wasn't earlier this month. It must have been earlier in the year, maybe in January we brought these out. But they work so, so well with all the, men, the, the men's cards and things. And of course, all these cards are photographed and they will be going onto the website and, and onto Facebook and everything so you'll be able to see them. So you can see how pretty this one is as well. This is an easel card that Glynis has created using the lovely basic circles dies to create this one, using the beer cap background, layering it all up as well. Next up is another one of Glynis's. So you can see how you can really make this quite kind of modern with your choice of colours as well. So you can use your really nice bright colours on this one. It just works so, so well together. Next up, we've got this one from Barbara, a really nice quick and easy one to do using your Lapis Lazuli card and your Mars Pearl card as well. Mixing and matching, layering them up. Another one is now a lovely shape dies and some fluffy stuff on the top of that beer, um, beer glass as well, which looks fabulous. Next up, we've got the beautiful, um, using the Decagon dies to create a shaped card, using slightly more pastel colours as well, making it a little bit more um, kind of modern with this one. And of course, some of them have to have a little bit of glitter on, don't they? Had to be a little bit of glitter on the, on the head of that um, beer glass. Next up, another one, this is one of Glynis's, a lovely easel card. So she's used the oval dies to create the oval easel shape. She's then used the beer bottle and the beer glass. And she's used the Celebrate Sentiment Builder as well. Next up, this is another really pretty one. Again, using slightly different colours. So by introducing the teal into here, you can see how fabulous that then looks. By mixing and matching some of your layering dies, you can see how fab that looks. So we've used the basic decagon and the basic ovals on this one. Next up, this is one of Becca's. I think this might be on one of the packaging. I'm not 100% sure, but it's a lovely, lovely card. So she's used the beer cap background and that stamp links up as well. So you can create a larger background with it. She's then used the lovely beer, um, the birthday beer. So she's used the glasses and she's used the bottle. Pop the little candle in the top, which I think is so cute. And then she's used that lovely cheers sentiment builder as well, which looks fabulous. Then next up is this lovely, it's like a more traditional kind of card, because obviously you can kind of really personalise this to the person that you're giving it to. So she's used some of our lovely bronze pearl card in the background. Stamped and embossed the beer bottle border stamp and then use the two beer bottles and pop some glossy accents on there. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to pop that to one side. 
that's all going to go in there. Okay, now grab some more finished samples in. Just give me a two a seconds. So I'll grab these in with the beer bottles as well. So this is the beer bottle border. So you can see by using these, you can just colour these in, keep them flat, completely up to you. I've been, I've got a, a couple of demos to show you, so I will show you a little bit of colouring. Um, I have just been using my Copic markers, but you could use watercolours, you could use pencils, whatever you're more comfortable colouring with. This is one of Barbara's using those lovely beer bottles and adding in a little bit of glossy accents in the background. Using the beautiful beer bottle border and the star and the cheers sentiment, you can see how fabulous that then looks. And again, you can just see how building all this up and adding it all together, it's so, so easy to do. Popping that cheers across the middle of the bottles as well, I think looks fabulous. And then using the bottles and popping a sentiment in the middle. So you can see how with that sentiment builder, on this card, we've built Can't Wait to Celebrate on your birthday, which is a really nice sentiment, isn't it? Something just that little bit different. So I'm going to pop these ones back, and then we've got a few more. Actually, should I do a little demo with the, the beer one first? And then I'll grab some more finished samples to show you the celebrations one. Does that make sense to everyone? Right, so I'm going to pop in a little graphic just while I get all of my little bits and pieces ready. So I'll pop in the beer bottles so that you can see kind of where we're going. So I've based my demo card on that lovely navy blue card on the left there. Oh, that's me just chucking my pens about now. So I'll pop that there. Okay, so I'm just getting all of my little bits and pieces together for this particular project. I shall just be two moments. I started out in this craft room thinking that I had loads and loads of space, but that space has sharply gotten taken up <laughs> by other things. Right then. So we're going to get started and I'm going to grab a little toolbox in as well. Okay then, so let me grab my two stamps. Okay then, so I'll pop the camera back around. There we go. So we're going to start off by doing a lovely card using the birthday beer. So we're going to use the, the beer glass and the beer bottle. I've got a piece, this is the um, the Crafter's Companion Nina card, because I tend to find that's a little bit nicer for colouring with your pens on too. Um, so if you don't want to emboss it, you don't have to. If you're using alcohol markers, you will need to use a water-based ink pad. So something like Memento or Distress Ink is water-based. Because I'm going to emboss, this is personally how I like to colour. Not saying this is the right way, there's no right or wrong ways in crafting. This is just the way that I like to do it. So I always like to emboss my outlines. I think, especially with these stamps, it gives you that point of definition. So it gives you a really nice crisp image, but it also makes it, it just kind of pop off the page a little bit. So I'm gonna give this a little dust over with my anti-static bag. And then I'm gonna take a black VersaFine ink pad. So this is an onyx black ink pad and it's absolutely fabulous. We're going to take this and we're going to ink up the stamp. So I'm starting off with the beer bottle. I'm going to place that down onto our base card and press. So you want firm even pressure all over the image. And I'm going to lift that off and I'm going to take clear gloss super fine in the wow powder. Sprinkle that over the top. And back into the jar. And I'm going to take the, the glass. I'm going to do exactly the same again. I'm going to ink this one up. Lots of light tapping all over the image. Place that down and press. So you want firm, even pressure all over the stamp. Lift that off. Okay. And then we're going to take 
our clear embossing powder, sprinkle that over the top and then put that back into the jar. Okay, so we're going to take our heat gun now and we're going to heat these up. So to heat these up, I'm just holding my heat gun still. As soon as I see that embossing powder start to melt and change, I'm just moving my heat gun over the image. If you're just starting out crafting, clear embossing powder is so, so easy to see it change. You'll see it goes from like a dull grey to a bright version of whatever colour is underneath. So, we're just going to work round. And heat that up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my Copic markers. I always tend to start off by just doing a little scribble next to them so I can just see how my colours are kind of reacting on the card. So I'm going to start off by colouring in this beer glass. So the colour that I'm using first is sand and it's E33 and it's the Copic Chow markers that I'm using. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just start by going in and literally just laying some colour down onto the image. I don't do it too carefully. I do enjoy colouring, it's just not something that I get to do very often. I'm being really cautious as well not to lean right in. <laughs> I'm trying to sit back a little bit. I know that you're probably getting a lovely view of my roots, but um, I can't help it, I'm afraid. <laughs> So I'm just working round. Just gonna add a little bit of colour onto here, like so. And it looks a little bit patchy when you first start, but trust me, stick with the process. It's gonna build up and it's gonna look awesome by the time that we're finished. So I've just laid down a little bit of colour there to start with. I'm gonna take my next colour, which is a uh, chamois. Shamo, Sh Shami, I think it is, E35. I'm going to just add a little bit of that just around the edge of that head of beer and just drag it down just a little bit, just to add a little bit of shade into the image. And I'm just going to add it just on the one side, also the bottom of the glass, because that would normally, normally be darker. And then we're going to take our previous colour, which is the lighter one. I'm really sorry if I go really quiet as well. I always do when I'm colouring. Just going to start and blend that all in. And then you can really kind of take this as far as you want. I would say you want to get yourself a good quality card when you're colouring in. Something like this Nina card is perfect for you with your marker pens. Um, so just give something like that a go, definitely. But you can see how easy this is to kind of just build up. I am going to show you all the fluffy stuff as well in a moment once I've got this coloured in. Okay, but you can then start to go in and add a little bit more depth if you want to. You can just kind of... Bring it down a little bit. And you can really spend as much or as little time as you want colouring these in. Even if you just do them in one block colour, they still look fabulous because they look um they still look really 3D. So I've literally just used the two colours on this one. So I've taken a lighter and a darker, and then just by keeping going back in and shading these in a little bit you can see how fab that then looks okay so i'm going to leave that one at about there i think you can of course go in add a little bit more if you want to see i will be here all day colouring in <laughs> but you can see how it all starts to come together and just adding that little bit of depth and that little bit of shading makes a difference the same with the beer bottle, so I'm going to maybe try a green with this one. So that one is first. 
Right, so I'm going to go for Forest Green, which is G17. And um, I'm going to go for Ocean Green, which is G28. So I'm going to do exactly the same with this one. So all I'm going to do is go in and I'm going to go with my lightest colour first, which is my Forest Green. Just going to colour this in. Honestly, colouring is not my kind of forte. But I do enjoy it and I think it's one of those skills that if you just practice, it, it does get easier. And I do think the pens, having the right quality pens, makes a difference and also the, the card that you're working on. You need something super smooth and you'll see how your pens push through to the back, um, which is what makes the difference with your alcohol markers and shading. But of course, if you just wanted to watercolour these with distress inks, you could do. Um, if you prefer to use watercolour paints or pencils, you could be using those. Literally, you could just drag a little bit of colour around the side and then drag it in with a water brush. There's nothing too difficult about this. So I'm just going to get a bit of colour onto here first. And I think sometimes this is when you panic, because when you put that first layer of colour down, it looks patchy um, and it doesn't look all that even. But once you start to work into that first layer, that's when it starts to kind of even up a little bit. So then you can go back in. I'm going to go in with my darker colour. This is Ocean Green. And I do have like a full set of Copics at home. I just kind of pulled a little selection out to bring with me today. And um, to be able to show you how to create these projects. So I've literally just gone round the edge with the um, darker colour and then I'm going in with my lighter colour and just dragging that in. Going across the middle there, like so. And you can see how that's then just started to blend itself. So by darkening the edges, and this is, I can remember when I did um, graphic design at college so it was if you had something round so when you have light and it shines on something round it's always the lightest point in the middle so to get that depth and dimension you need to darken each side and that'll give it a round shape so if you keep that in mind and think of where your light source would be so say my light source was down the middle of that bottle that's where it would be the the lightest point so then you can go in with your pens Again, just add a little bit more, darken that down a little bit more at the edges, bring it in a bit, and then take your pens and add, blend it in. Like so. So you can see the difference. Hopefully, I don't know whether you'll be able to on Facebook, to be honest, but between this top part and the bottom part. So then I'm going to drag a little bit more in here. But the thing is, you you know, colouring can be made complicated, but it doesn't need to be. Um, all you need to do is just add in your colour and just start to, to build them up a little bit. And it does just take a little bit of practice and a little bit of patience. But what I did when we first got these is I just stamped a load of beer bottles, stamped a load of, of glasses and sat and coloured them all in. And then sat and made my cards up the, the day after. Um, and once you get in your flow with it and in your rhythm, it really does get you there. So you can see how I've just started to colour that one in. You can, of course, then colour your label in. So I've got a slightly paler colour. This one is milky white that I'm going to use for the top here. And then we can take a little bit of this other colour, which is the sand that we used on the, the beer glass. Add a little bit of sand just down the side. Like so. And you can go back in with your milky white and blend that in. Like so. And I'm going to 
gonna do the same at the top here. So I'm gonna go in with my forest green, that's my paler green. Get that base layer of colour down. Oh, I'm gonna feel all relaxed when I finish this Facebook Live. <laughs> After doing the colouring in. That's that bit. And then I'm gonna go in with the ocean green, which is gonna be perfect just to add that little bit of depth. Again, I'm gonna go either side, drag a little bit down here. I like to go a little bit under where you'd get like a, a shadow off the bit of the bottle that sticks out. Does that make sense? Put a bit more in so you can see how that's come together. I'm gonna take a more golden color that's called yellow oak craft. Just to do the bottle top like that, and then you can go in with a little bit of your chamois, 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 I think it is, E35, we'll just go with numbers. You can pop a little bit of that in just to add a little bit of depth, and you just shade over like that. Okay, um, and then we can start to add in, I'm going to colour this bit in just a milky white, I'm just going to add little bit of colour just onto the label it just takes the starkness away I think of it being so white so we'll colour that in here okay mm. go in with a little bit of that one I'm gonna colour this centre banner in with this colour which is putty I think I might go in with a red. So this is a strong red. those bits in as well and then I might go in with a blue this is ultramarine that just to do this little part here there we go and then if you want to you can take the little happy birthday stamp so this is the tiny little one that comes on the plate but it fits in the middle of the little banner on the bottle so then i'm going to take my little happy birthday stamp i'm going to gently ink that up just with a little bit of um that black versifying again and then i'm going to press that down and we've then got happy birthday in the middle of the the beer bottle okay i've got a couple that i've already colored in at home and die cut out so i've popped the dies over the top run them through the die cutting machine and i've got them nicely cut out here i'm going to stamp that little happy birthday onto this one because i've missed that you can see i've used slightly different colors on these ones uh, so the copics that i'm using are the copic chow c i a o okay and um, i've had mine for a lot of years now and um, but i do i love them i use them a lot so these are the ones that i've done at home what i'm then going to do is i'm going to take some of this fluffy stuff and this is incredible we've got this on the website okay and are you ready for this so literally all you're going to do is take the fluffy stuff i'm going to pop it on the head of the beer and i'm just going to go around in little circles like this when you get this home, you do need to cut the tip off, just so then it allows the product to come out. But you can see, and I just do it in little circular motions, okay? And that does make a difference because it makes a difference as to how it puffs. Then you're gonna take the heat gun. We're gonna go in with that heat gun and we're gonna puff it up. 
So all you're going to do is hold your heat gun still. And then you will notice that very soon it will hopefully start to puff, which it is. So you can just see it is starting to get that lovely kind of foamy texture. It always reminds me of, do you know like an um, expanding foam that you get for DIY projects? Always reminds me of that. But you can literally just heat this up, puff it up, and then look at that. It is created like that fabulous fluffy texture on the top which just looks amazing so i'm going to pop this one to one side and i'm going to bring my card blank in just to show you how we're going to build this all up oh i haven't given myself a card blank give me two seconds i'll see if i can just grab one That would be annoying not being able to, to make an actual card. Okay then. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to layer this up together. So I'm going to start by using, I haven't got my all-purpose glue with me, so I'm just going to use a little bit of PVA. I know that lots of you are waiting for this arc glitter PVA glue as well, but there's been a few production problems. Um, so they're telling me that it's going to be um, March that we should be able to get some more. So just keep an eye on the website. So that's my silver mirror card down. I'm going to stick a piece of the lapis lazuli pearl card down. That's going to go onto there. Like so. And then I'm going to take a piece of the patterned paper. So this is one of like the wooden effects one. I'm going to pop some foam pads onto the back of this one and layer this up. Okay. My little, little waste bin here. <laughs> I like to put all the backs into here like so. I'm just going to work my way around. And then I'm going to stick that down. Onto my base card. Okay. Then I've got a piece of white card, which I've actually die cut one of the decagons out of the middle of. And I've got my lovely be a cat background stamp. I'm gonna layer that on top. Eh, not stamp, sorry, I've used that from the from the papers. <laughs> then we're gonna pop some foam pads onto the back of here. So just a few foam pads like so to here. And we'll stick this together. And then I'm going to pop that onto my card blank like so. And then I've die cut out a basic decagon from Silver Mirror card and a one from Lapis Lazuli card. I'm going to just stick those together. And then a couple of foam pads onto the back of there. Go into our base card. And then we're going to add another few foam pads just onto the back of here. Like so, and that then goes onto there. So that's our basic base card built up. We're going to use that lovely sentiment builder, a stamp and die set now, to create our sentiment for this card. So I'm going to do the cheers one. So I can... Oh, what have I done with the... Oh, it's next to me. <laughs> the stamp. So we're going to start with the die. So I'm going to take the cheers part. So I'm going to take that one. I'm going to take the background. 
we're going to die cut this one, the cheers, out of the silver mirror. And then we're going to die cut the background from lapis lazuli, I think. Are we doing it that way around or are we doing it the other way around? Yes, I've got it right. So I'm going to pop that there. I'm going to run this through my Gemini machine. Do the magnetic shim. Okay, so I'm going to put that one there, that one there. Pop my cutting plate on the top and then just run that through my die cutting machine. So we'll just give that a couple of minutes just to, to run through. Okay, I'm going to grab that at the other side. Lift those out and then we've got our lovely cheers. And we've got the inner one as well. just on the back just enough to kind of hold it really and I'm gonna pop that down like so the glue will dry clear as well grab a couple of foam pads just to stick this down onto the base card so I've got a foam pad here Is a little bit big. Right, I'm going to pop that over there. I'm going to put in the rubbish. I'm going to put cheers there. And I'm going to stamp an embossment on your birthday just onto a piece of lapis lazuli card. And I'm going to use opaque bright white super fine embossing powder. So, my on your birthday, I've got on my block. I'm going to ink that up. So, I'm using my Wow Clear embossing ink pad. And then I'm going to take my stamp, I'm going to stamp that down, lift that up, and then I'm going to take my scrap paper, I'm going to take my opaque bright white super fine, and then I'm going to heat that up. Feels very weird not putting any glitter on this card, I have to say. Okay, and then I'm going to use my heat gun. And keep that up. I think I've got a little bit of steam here. So we'll get this one trimmed down. It's then going to go onto my base card. So I'm going to pop this one over there, pop that onto here. So again, just a couple of foam pads to stick it down. I'm going to trim my foam pads down a little bit. One there. One there. And then we're going to take the beer bottle and the glass. I'm going to stick this one down flat. like a double layer on the back of the glass so and there and that's gonna go onto our base card like so so then to finish that off you could be adding some little silvery studs or something like that and that would just complete your finished card. So that's the card using the lovely birthday beer stamp and die set. 
I'm going to pop in a finished sample photo and then I can show you the projects using the champagne glass and things like that too. So I really hope that you've enjoyed that demo and that's given you some inspiration as to what to do with the collection. Um, with using your Copic markers, I just use a few different ones. I just tend to pull a little selection, to be honest. There's nothing kind of too technical to it or anything like that. Um, but I'll pop a finished card sample in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mute the mic so you can't hear me rustling around. Um, and then we'll show you some finished card samples and we'll get another demo in. Okay, so I'm going to pop that in now. So I'll pop, uh, should we go for that? Yeah, I'm going to put this one in. There we go. Okay, I'm going to mute the mic now, so it's going to go really quiet. Right then, so we'll get going with the next um, the next lot of cards. So these are using the champagne glasses and the time to celebrate stamp and die set. I can see there's a few questions in the comments about comics and things. We don't actually sell them, uh, so you just have to do your own research online on that, I'm afraid. They did use to come in sets when I bought mine. I think you can buy individuals, not 100% sure, but just research online. I know they're quite expensive. Um, but there are some other options out there that, that, are, that are, are, are good too. So you've got like your Spectrum Noirs, you've got your Pro Markers, obviously you've got Copics. Um, if you just wanted to use the Kurataki clean colour pens that are water-based, they work really nicely too. Um, but just have a little, do a little bit of research, have a little look around online. There's some awesome tutorials as well on YouTube and places like that showing you how to colour in. Okay then. So, next little batch of cards are using the fabulous champagne glasses. So this has been designed as an anniversary card. The glasses have been stamped and embossed onto acetate and then glittered from behind, which gives you that fabulous effect. We've then got this lovely easel card from Glynis, which I love, that celebrate on your anniversary. Very pink, very beautiful. This is using the Lacy Circle, stamp and die, um, not stamp and die. <laughs> The Lacy Circle die set. Okay, really, really pretty. And using some of the Christmas roses actually down the side, which is a bit of a random one. Next up, we've got the lovely, um, again, like a, like a stepper card. How would you describe this? These will be being photographed as well. Um, these cards that Glynis has sent, I actually only just got the other day. So they haven't gone off to photography yet, but they will be getting photographed and they will be on the website. So you can see how she's used the sentiment builder in the middle. She's used the beautiful patterned papers and she's used the champagne glasses there too. Another one, I love this one. This is in um, navy and pink. I think these must have been magazine projects because they're all in a theme. So she's used celebrate on your wedding day inside. She's used the lovely heart dye, using the Christmas roses and using the glasses there too. Next up, we've got time for champagne. Let's party for a 21st birthday. Really lovely using the foiled papers and using the champagne glasses there too. You can of course repeat the champagne glasses to create a full panel, which looks fabulous. 
another one of Barbara's using the geometric heart in the background, embellishing with some flowers. And she's done that as a birthday card by making the colours blue. It gives it a different look. Another one, congratulations on your birthday, using the flowers, using the beautiful champagne glasses in the middle as well. And another one, by adding that bit on acetate as well, it just adds that little bit extra dimension, the little kind of spray that comes out the top. Really, really pretty. I'm gonna pop those to one side. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab a few more in. We just pop these back away. Staying so organized today, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> got a few here using the champagne bottle so this is a one of Barbara's so she's used a champagne bottle she's popped a little bit of that clear varnish over the top she's used a celebrate sentiment and she's used the champagne glasses on there too this is another lovely one I think this is Barbara's again using the champagne bottle but can you see how she's used a little bit of foil <laughs> and wrapped it around the top it's like do you know those little um Easter bunnies that you get on the reindeers at Christmas that come in the gold foil. Absolutely perfect for doing that technique. And then she's used the geometric star here too, just to add that bit of embellishment in the background. Really blinging the bottle up and adding a little bit of sparklicious glitter on there. Absolutely fabulous. And of course, embellishing with flowers too. You can use, you can do so many different things with these. Another really lovely card from Glynis here using the navy blues and the golds, really, really pretty. Um, and adding the spray in the top as well. This is the one of Barbara's. She's used a little bit of shrink plastic on here too, which is perfect with that really nice large bottle image. And of course, you've got like the pop, you've got the spray, you've got the cork. So it's really nice to use those as little embellishments as well on here and for weddings it would be a lovely 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 card and then this one's a one of becca's so she's used a lovely champagne bottle added some glossy accents onto the bottle used the spray at the top and then used the little stars around the background too really really it's a lovely versatile collection you're going to be able to use this particular stamp for lots and lots of different occasions so i'm going to pop those to one side and we're going to do a little um, a little demo using the champagne bottle and glasses. I'm going to use some of the foiled papers as well. So I'll just get all of my little elements together. I have already done my stamping and embossing and glittering because there was quite a bit of glitter on this project. And I was worried in case when I came to stick it together, it wasn't dry. So to get started, I've got an 8x8 eight eight white card blank. I've then got a piece of silver mirror card that we're going to stick on the front. So I'll just use a little bit of glue for this again. And then we'll stick that down onto our base card. Okay, I am going to do a little bit of little bit of glaring on this one. It wouldn't be a Chloe card without a bit of sparkle, would it? So we're going to take, this is one of the beautiful patterned papers. So this is like, it's like almost like a wood grainy type effect. Fabulous. Again, because these are all foiled on a white paper, you could be inking these up if you wanted to as well to colour tint them. I'm going to take a chisel tip glue pen. I'm just going to drag along each side and just bling this up a little bit. So each of the four sides like so working round so then I've got that one there and then I've got a couple of layers of white so I'm going to glitter these two as well while I've got the glitter out sometimes just need to press your glue pen down as well just to get a bit more glue at the tip because obviously over time they can dry out a little bit but we can just work around okay 
pen are going to be? This. So, and then we're going to matte and layer this all together. So we're going to stick our lovely foiled paper just onto the background here, like so. So Lynn's just asked, do you use Versafine and a clear embossing powder, but can memories and clear embossing powder be used instead? I'm not sure because I don't know what base of ink the memories is. If it's a fast drying or a dye based ink, it won't stay wet, wet long enough for the embossing powder to grab. Personally, I do prefer Versafine ink because I think it gives a really nice jet black line um, compared to some of the other ink pads. So I tend to use Versafine an awful lot. Okay, I've got a piece of my crystal white card that I've trimmed out a size. I'm going to matte and layer my bubbles on the top. And then we'll stick this onto the card with some foam pads. It's going to go onto there like so. Okay, and then we're going to use our foam pads just under the back. Again, as always, these are all foam pads on a roll that I'm using and they are absolutely fabulous. Little waste basket in. I've got right into this now. Little waste basket to put the back of your foam pads in on your desk. Much, much easier. I'm going to pop that one onto there. Like so, and then I'm going to put this white one on the top here. Of course, you could gut these layers as well so you're not wasting your lovely foiled papers there. Okay, so I'm going to pop that onto here like so. And then I would like, I've got a die cut heart here. I had two die cut hearts. There we go. So I've got a silver mirror card and a one that I've die cut from the um the foiled paper. So I'm going to layer these two together. Oh my word! I've just realised we've been live for one hour and twenty minutes. <laughs> Seems to have absolutely flown over a day. Thank you all so much for joining me as well. If you have just tuned in, I will pop this onto the page and I'll also pop it onto YouTube later as well. So you can always then catch up at your leisure. Okay, so you can see how fabulous that then looks when we've got it all stuck together. What we're gonna do next is we've taken that lovely champagne bottle stamp. Now I have already done these because I wanted to assemble the card to show you. So what I did is I've stamped and embossed them in silver and I've done it twice. I've glittered the chunkier parts. So you can see the really intense parts that's been done in Diamante Sparkle. The finer parts have been done in Glass Slipper. So we're going to layer this little label just onto the top. So we're just decoupaging the label up a little bit. Okay. It's going to go under there. And then that's going to get ready to go onto our card like so. And then I've also stamped and embossed the gorgeous champagne glasses in silver and then infilled those with glass slipper. So I'm going to pop those like this onto my base card. So I'm going to use a couple of foam pads. I'm going to do like a double layer just onto the back. Like so. And then I'm going to put that across at a slight angle. I'm going to put my champagne glasses on there too. You can see how it's all starting to build up and come together. Then taking the little spray that comes with the, the champagne glasses, and I'm actually going to just pop it out the top of the champagne bottle. Before we do, I'm going to add a little bit of bling on this one. Got my 
bling box. So this is the Chloe's favourites bling box. Okay, I'm going to just take a few of the little bling stones. Add these in. And then we're going to take a little bit of the, this is Diamond -y Sparkle. Okay, I'm going to pop that into here and just glitter up those little stars going to go into the top of the bottle. Okay, I'm going to pop that one in there. Just going to put a little bit of PVA just on the back. Right, so that's going to go underneath there like so. And then I've taken my Celebrate from my Sentiment Builder. I've done Celebrate on your anniversary which I'm going to pop across the corner there. Just use some foam pads to do that. It's going to go across there like so. It's going to go there. Okay. Right, I've got a bow. This is some silky crush ribbon that I had. My word, my scissors are so blunt. <laughs> I'm going to put my bow on there. Just for speed of the live, I'm going to put a little bit of, just do it with the foam pad. Please do not stick your ribbons on with the foam pad at home. They will not hold. <laughs> you can use like a glue dot or a little bit of um, 3D glue jam. I'm going to take three of my larger jewels and I'm going to try and pop one in the middle of here. completely dried up there. It's not going to work, Chloe. Do it with a little bit of PVA, but it's probably not going to hold. Honestly, I've got my craft stuff all over at the moment. I've got some of it at home, some of it at work. I just need to get myself organised, I think. <laughs> I'm going to add my three jewels just down the side. And that would then be my finished card. But you can see how quickly and easily that's come together just using the lovely um, champagne bottle, time to celebrate, and the gorgeous champagne glasses. So this has all been using the brand new collection, which is, let me turn it around so you can see me. There we go. <laughs> um, using the brand new time to celebrate collection, uh, not time to celebrate, Celebrate the Good Times collection, which will be available on the website tomorrow morning at 9am. I'm going to pop the little graphic in just to show you what you get in the full bundle. Again, all items are available individually as well, or you can go for the full bundle if you want to too. I really hope that you have enjoyed today's demonstration and I hope that you've, you've, you like this collection. I know that it is something that's really quite different than what we've done ordinarily, but I think it is something that we've kind of been lacking and something that you're still going to enjoy creating with, which is what's so, so important. Plus, I think these stamps and dies aren't going to come in wrong in your craft box, especially not like the champagne bottle and the champagne glasses. It's something that you're going to find a use for and you're probably going to use a lot. So thank you all so much for joining me. Again, I'm going to pop the video on YouTube and it will also stay on Facebook so you can watch it back at your own leisure. Um, if you haven't done so already and you watch it on YouTube, please do subscribe to our channel. Have a little look at some of the other videos we've got on there because we've got lots and lots of inspiration. Um, the full Celebrate the Good Times collection will be available tomorrow morning on www.chloescreativecards.co.uk where we'll have all of these fabulous goodies. There is lots and lots on the website too. Of course, we've got the clear varnish and we've got the fluffy stuff in stock as well. Um, so definitely be adding those into your basket too. 
Thank you everyone who has joined me today. I hope you all have a lovely afternoon and I will see you all again soon. Bye.